Hey guys, welcome back to my catchy name. It's me, Ella. This is episode number 32, which, if you're paying attention, should have come out last week. But, um, if you're a member of my Facebook group, you will know why I didn't put a video out last week, and it's because I was having a mental mom week. <laughs> I had a really hard time filming with Jesse. Um, he, there's his head right there. He's standing up on the little seat. Um, he just had toddler moments every time I tried to film last week, and he might have some today. He's whining right now. He's tired. So if I cut this off and come back, it's because I had to go help him take a nap. Hi! What are you doing? Hey, Will. Oh. A bed, though. No, you can play with those juicy ones. Let's go talk about them first. Oh, we're down. That's a cup. <laughs> I'll give them to you after Mama gets done. <laughs> no, Bubba, not right now. Go watch Blippi. <gasps> Oh! Go watch Blippi. Oh! Yeah! It's Mama's bag. Oh! Yes, baby. It's Mama's bag. Go, go watch TV. Cute. Yeah, it's cute. He's talking about my oh. bag. Mama, my room is so good. Me! No, well, I don't knock it in the sink. I didn't miss Leave it alone. This is why I didn't come last yeah. week, but it was a lot worse because he ended up throwing <laughs> tantrums real bad. And, uh,. I had I needed just a break. I needed a break. So, anyways, I'm gonna try to f get it out today, or film it today. It's actually Wednesday. <laughs> I'm stuck. What? Is it? Is it? Yeah, I'm almost filming. Anyways, you know now you know why I didn't have video out. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into it so I can go try to get this done. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's candy. It's so another one of my ba my bags. He's talking about. Um, well, I want to say welcome to all of the new subscribers. I've had quite a few new ones, and then welcome back to all the original people. This is itching. I'm sitting in the kitchen. That's why there's a stove behind me. <laughs> what, bug a bug? Milk. milk. It's right here. Milk. Go drink your milk. Watch no. your milk. Is it yellow? Is yellow bag? Yeah, it's yellow bell. Okay, he's going to have a breakdown, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about something. <laughs> Hold on, I'll give it to you in just a second. My first, fin you got your milk, you're holding it. Okay. <laughs> candy. You want some candy? I'll get you some candy. <laughs> candy, come here. Come here. Candy. Go eat your candy. Go up here. Walk over here. You're taking milk with you. Bribing <laughs> him with candy. Oh, well. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, that was a close-up, sorry. Ugh, I'm up on a, like a, it's like a stool chair, so it's kind of awkward to sit on. <laughs> but okay, first, let's just get into the crochet stuff. My finished objects. I have a lot of finished objects, but it's because I've had technically two weeks to uh, make them all. I don't have two of them with me, so I'll have to insert photos, but we'll start with the top one on the list. And it is the Christmas Bell Ornament. Which it had a jingle bell on it that worked, you know, it was like an actual jingle bell, but Jesse ripped it off, so I gotta, the string's still there, I gotta put it back on there. Um, it's a jingle bell ornament, it's a free pattern by, I have no idea how to say the name, it's like Margeline Flick, I think. <laughs> and it is a PDF, so that's cool. I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's PDF. Um, it's made with, I think I used an E or Elf hook, I think it was an E hook, I'm not exactly sure. And it's all just Red Heart Super Sarah scraps, this, why not, it's not. I like this yellow is Crafter's Secret Yellow, but these are two shades of Red Heart Super Saver. The lighting's real bad because it's, I don't know if you can see, but it's like really gloomy and overcast and it has been for like a week and a half. So I can't film where I normally do, but it's Red Heart Super Saver Hot Cherry Red, and I'm not sure what this green is, but I know it's Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, it is kind of stuffed. I didn't stuff it a lot because, you know, you wanted it to be able to be pushed up in there and then the jingle bell hanging down. I think it's super cute. I'd like to make more. I want to make some gray, like a light gray color and make silver bells because I love that song and there's a movie called that. It's like a Hallmark movie and I really like that movie. So I want to make some more jingle bells and I gotta fix this one's jingler. Okay. That I made for Claudia at the Crochet Luna's Crochet along with this hashtag uh, Box of Ornaments 2018. Want some more? Ooh. Oh, I gotta get out of the package. 
Then go red and pink. Pink and red. <laughs> um, let's see here. The next ones on my list are the, the ones that I don't have with me. And it is, um, I guess it's Dr. Zeus, Zeus's birthday or something this week. So all the schools around here were like having Dr. Zeus days. I guess he threw something. Anyways, the, all the kids were having like Dr. Zeus themed days. So my sister asked me to make my nephew a hat. So I made him this cat in a hat hat. <laughs> um, and I did kind of follow a pattern a little bit, but I did change it. And the pattern I did start following was um, Snappy Top Hats by uh, Snappy Tots, which is um, Heidi Eights. I just broke one of those chocolates. Uh, this is the uh, Snappy Top Hat pattern, like pack. It comes with different hats, not just a cat and hat one, but like a bunny one and a St. Patrick's Day one and stuff. It's paid for PDF, but if you just want the cat in a hat version, it's free on her blog, the child size. And it actually comes with, instead of just the hat, it has like a part that makes it look like you have cat ears. Um, at the bottom. Uh, let's see here. So I, I did kind of follow that, but her striping was it the same as the actual cat in the hat's hat. <laughs> so I did extend it a little bit. I think hers was just red, white, red, white, brim. And I did red, white, red, white, red brim and um, I made it with an eye hook and red heart super saver white and cherry red I think it was cherry red and then I also made the bow tie that's with it I didn't follow a pattern for it I just made single crochets back and forth till it was like that thick and then I squished it together and wrapped the yarn around it and then I made a chain like necklace so that he wouldn't have to you know he's six so he can't really tie that good especially like behind his neck so it just slips on on over his head yeah. And it was also I hook and red heart super saver cherry. Um, but yeah, I gifted them to them. I'm hoping she sends me a picture of him at school or something, but that's okay if she doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, that's them. And this picture that would have popped up somewhere over here. Alright. Let's see here. My next one. This is technically a finished object because it's done being crocheted, but it's not put together. And it is my American flag brief. I'll pop, this is what it's supposed to look like when I get done with it. And right now it's just, these are all the white squiggles. And I got all the red and the blue one done. And it's just going to stay here until I get around to getting a reef uh, form. This is for the fair. Uh, county fair, as I said. You know, ours is in September. So I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff made up for September's fair. But yeah, I, I, this is done. I just have to put it on a reef. Um, form. He won't say mold, but it's a form or whatever. I don't know what they're called. That is a free pattern. If you go to her blog, it's a paid PDF on Ravelry. Um, and it's by Erica Fedor. And I made it with an H hook and Red Heart Super Saver. I think it's navy, white, and cherry. The grape? We don't have no grapes. Mama didn't buy any this week. The grape? You want some of these? Yeah, put them in your bowl. There you go. Mama broke that one. But it's the chocolate. Alright. That was the what? One, one, two, three. That was the fourth finished object this week. The fifth finished object. Here, Mama's done with this. You want to play with it? Let me play with it. I'll make more if you mess that one up. It's alright. It ain't got the bell on it because you already ripped that off. Alright. This I'm not super duper happy with. I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong with corner to corner. But this is the Christmas tree square for Terry at the Yarn Joy podcast um, Facebook groups, like cows she's having. And it's of the um, Christmas pixel blanket. I think it's pixel square blanket. I can't remember. It's a free pattern by Sarah Zimmerman, which is repeat crafter me. And um, I made it with an elf hook, and it's Red Heart Super Saver colors. I'm not exactly sure what they all are. But. Um, the red is sparkly. That's not Red Heart. That's a Karen color. But I'm not happy with... What first of all... This is inky. Do you play with it? I think the red was a smaller yarn. Like no, a size 3. No more. no more. And see these little tails? These are what I'm not happy about. I'm going to figure out how to make them not do that. 
But this is Delft Blue. This is Pale Yellow. I'm not sure what this blue is, but it is Red Heart Super Saver. And it's green. It's Red Heart Super Saver, but I don't remember. And this is Red Heart with Love Chocolate or something like that. But, I mean, it's okay. It looks fine. I guess. It, I'm just not happy with it. But I didn't want to rip it back because there's so many little short colors. Desi, don't stick that in there. Bye-bye. No, don't stick stuff in there. There's a hole in it. You want some more candy? No. No, leave that alone, Bubba. You don't need to stick stuff in there. You stick stuff in there. I don't know what will happen. Want some more candy? <laughs> oh, need some more? Um. <laughs> Come we it. Chew it up, good. Chew it up, good. I'm giving him a little six lips. My mom sent a whole bunch of those up here. I guess she got them on clearance. Anyways, back to the square. I'm going to make this blanket as a gift to my mom. So I'm not really, she won't mind if it looks a little smoky. And also on the back, I cheated. I didn't tie in a lot of the ends. I just tie them into knots. Because I'm planning on, after I make it and put it together and do the border, I want to line it with fleece or something. Like a Christmas print. So... I'm just going to knot it from now on, <laughs> except for like the ones up here that do need to be hidden. But yeah, it's not the greatest, but it's done. He's kicking the cabinet. <laughs> what are you doing? You're a stinker. It's probably really loud. Are you done? Richie Candy? Alright, the last finished object that I made, I made this yesterday. No, day before yesterday. And this is another Christmas ornament for Claudia's crochet along. It's a little funky looking, but that's alright. What's this? It's a mug. Turned out a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to. It's a mug of hot chocolate. It's a brown. It looks black, but it's brown got a little face on it and the marshmallow the marshmallow was supposed to be made here you go <laughs> with the um, size three yarn but I didn't, yeah I didn't have any so I just made a worsted so I could only fit one marshmallow on there they're supposed to be three please don't pull them off they good <laughs> uh let's see here what is that that is the Christmas Hot Cocoa by Yarn Blossom Boutique. It's a free pattern, and I'm pretty sure it's PDF. Yeah, I know it was. Um, I made it with an elf hook and Red Heart Super Saver. I think the blue is called Takura or something like that. He's squishing it all out of shape. <laughs> and then Red Heart Super Saver white. And then the little mouths and stuff is made with little scraps of pink and I think brown. But yeah, I just thought that was cute and it'd be a cute Christmas tree ornament. And I drink a lot of hot chocolate, so... I thought it was cute. He threw it down and ran off, so I went and grabbed it. But yeah, I wish I kind of wish I'd stuffed it more, but it's just gonna be a Christmas ornament, so it's not gonna matter. I think I'm gonna hang it, maybe by, maybe not by the handle, but like one of those hooks, like right there. Something like that. I don't know. It turned out way better. I thought it was gonna be like half the size of this, but it's still cute. I mean, you could if you use smaller uh, yarn, it'd come out smaller, but I still thought it was cute. And even though it's just a giant marshmallow, it's still adorable. But yeah, see, I, I embroidered them. That's a pink color. It's just a lightning drill bed. I embroidered the mouth and the little cheek blushes or whatever. And the marshmallow has a brown mouth. And it's got safety eyes. I like safety eyes. I think that's all my finished objects. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six finished objects. <laughs> but that's just because... Well, really, the only two I finished, the ones that weren't going to be in last week's episode, was the cho hot chocolate and the Christmas square. I wasn't all the way done with it. Those are the only two things I finished. Uh, I finished that over the weekend. Well, the cup I made Monday or Tuesday. All right, whips. The only whip I have, I think it, I showed it last time, and it's in the same exact spot, so I don't think I worked on it at all. And it is my super snappy. She's living in my zipper cat bag that I made. <laughs> And it's, I'm pretty sure I showed this last time and it was just the size too. I haven't worked on it at all. 
This is going to be part of her body, the, you know, one of the panels. It's in a purple. It's amethyst. It's just blown out. And this is... I love this year in light peach. But yeah, I'm going to try to work on that some more this coming week. Um, this is another thing for the fair. It's going to be the doll category. Alright. I have one more whip, and it's not a new whip. If you're an original viewer... Move my chair because I feel like I'm really far over there. You will remember this from months ago. I don't even remember when I stopped it. I got aggravated at it for some reason. I don't even remember why I now. I don't know, one of my balls came on pinned. We're not eating this. my bobbin up. <laughs> this is a corner to corner. So if you're an original viewer, you probably know what it is. Do you know what it is? Alright. First I'll show you what bag it's living in and then if you're a original viewer you'll know what it is. It's living in my Snappy Tots limited edition bag. I don't think this pattern is available anymore. That's supposed to be the bottom. It's got pockets all around it. It's a really cool pattern but I'm pretty sure it's not available anymore because it was a limited edition <laughs> um, pattern. But knowing her she'll probably bring it out of retirement eventually. But it is a square to, or it's more like a rectangle, to my grease blanket. Oh lord. <laughs> Starts here. I'm almost done with it. I only have like that much more to go. And the only reason I stopped working on it last night was because Jesse was sleeping bad. He had a fever. I guess from teething. And he kept waking up. So I just <laughs> sat there and watched Bates Motel because I'm trying to binge watch that. Because I put the new season up and I want to watch it all. Or the last season up. But yeah, that's almost done and that's my grease blanket which uh, if you're an original viewer, like I said, you would know that I've worked on it. I've done a lot of squares to it already. I did the pink ladies, the um, T-birds, the comb, a big long banner that says Grease Lightning, and a Rydell High square. And that's the one I was working on. And for some reason, I can't remember why, but I got mad at it. And I quit working on it. I put it in hibernation for months now. It's been months. Ooh, excuse me. Indigestion. I always have indigestion. But I finally, the other day, I was cleaning our bedroom and I came across it because I had it stuffed in a drawer. <laughs> and I was organizing and getting rid of, you know, um, what was it called? It's like decluttering and getting rid of a lot of stuff. And I came across it and I was like, you know what, I'm going to work on that. Because at the moment, I only have Miss Snappy, Miss Super Snappy, working on her. So I was like, I'm going to pull out and work on it. And then I was like, I started working on it and I was like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm in the groove because I'm doing this corner to corner also. So this is just mini and that's regular size. And, um... I almost got it done because I started working on it. My mom kept Jesse two days this weekend, so I uh, Sunday and Monday, yeah, Sunday and Monday, and um, so I worked on it the whole time and I almost got done with it last night. I was working on it while he was going to sleep, like I said. But um, I'm hoping to finish it. Like I don't know if I'm gonna make all the squares to the afghan because I don't want it to be giant, and if I keep make it on because I made it in normal corner to corner instead of mini. I wish I could have made it in mini. I would have um it would be king size like at least king size especially once the border is added and I don't need a giant you know I don't need to have king size bed we have queen so I'd be hanging off the edge <laughs> but um I think I'm gonna make the squares that I like and then just piece them together to make a blanket or something for the couch. I forgot to tell you. The yellow is red heart super savory bright yellow the orange is Red Heart Super Saver Pumpkin. The red is Mainstays Red, I think it is. It's blown out. It's not that crazy looking. And the black is Red Heart Super... No, it's not. No, it's not. It is Mainstays Black. And I'm making it with an H hook, which is the hook I got with the blanket. And it is uh, my pink lady's hook. It's H. Did I already say that? But this is a paid-for pattern. It's a PDF. Um, it was a crochet along last summer, I think it was. And um, it's like seven dollars. It is. It's on the higher end of patterns, but I think it's worth it because I love grease. If you don't love grease, you probably don't think it's worth it. But she also it's Chaos and Chop Siri, by the way, that designed that. She also has a Friends one, which I want to make real bad because I love Friends. A Gilmore Girl one. The Gilmore Girl one is free. The Friends one is paid for. And she's doing another one. I feel like she's doing another one right now, but I can't remember. Her husband's in the army, so she has to do like pauses to you know because like when he's home she wants to be with him obviously let's see here is that everything i'm supposed to talk about did i mention carrie's cow carrie terry's cow yes i did 
I did want to mention another one. I got a note right here. <laughs> and it's Abby at the Blue Heart Blue Heart Crafts Crafts. I'll keep on saying Blue Hearts Craft, but it's Blue Heart Crafts. Um she oh gosh, let's see here. It'll be Thursday that that starts. What? Oh, I thought he was talking to me. He's talking to the if you go over here you can see him. Where is he? Oh, oh wait. He's this way. There he is. <laughs> I'm not good at aiming. He's sitting on his slide right there. He's watching TV sitting on his slide. I'm sorry if my kitchen's dirty. That tub, I've had that since Jesse was born. You know those random stuff they give you at hospitals? And I use it as like a garbage can because we keep our garbage locked up so Jesse can't get a hold, you know, into it. So I'll just like throw garbage in there and then empty it every now and then. <laughs> but uh, anyways, let's talk about Abby. She made a corner to corner square pattern that is an awareness ribbon. Like, you know, for anything. And... You, you know, you can easily change the meaning of it by changing the color. And she's going to have a crochet along for it. I want to do it, but I'm not so sure if I can actually do it with her, like as a group thing. Because I got the Christmas crochet along that I'm working on, and then now the grease one I'm going to be working on. But the grease one's not like a top priority. Like, I do want to finish the Christmas one before Christmas because I want to give it to my mom. The grease one I can finish whenever because it's for me. And it's basically like a filler. And Like, I only pulled it out and started working on it because I only had one whip this week. But she um, designed a really cool corner to corner square of the ribbon. And she was giving it out for free until March 1st. But by the time you watch this, it'll be March 2nd. So, sorry. But you'll have to pay for it now. <laughs> but, um, she's, I think she's got a, yeah, she's got a Facebook group that you can join. I'll link it all below for it. And, you know, you can make it for anything you want to make it for. Me, I'd like to make, um, I think she's making a huge blanket. But I want to make like a smaller, like a couch size blanket with um, periwinkle ribbons because my dad died in 2013 of esophageal cancer and periwinkle is the color for that. So I'd like to make that just to have and maybe even because, you know, it's easy to make corner to corner panels. You can just, there's just squares, you know, it's pixels. You just make a pixel image and then do it. <laughs> but um, I'd like put his name and the dates, like his birth date through his death date or something. Something like that would be cool to make, um, just to have, you know, as remembrance of him. And maybe, maybe, my sister probably watches this, so maybe might get around to making, like, one for me, my sister, and my brother. Just because that'd be cool. I think that's everything. Let's see how. I was going to turn it off and turn it back on because I don't like to make my videos huge because it's harder to, um, transport them to my computer. Which I use Dropbox to do that, and it's a lot easier and quicker than um, uploading it some other way. I don't know what I'm saying. Or just connecting it to the laptop. That's pretty simple because you just drag and drop. Yeah, it's totally random. <laughs> but yeah, um, the only active whips I have is my grease blanket and my super, Miss Super Snappy. I want to finish her because she's stinking cute, and um, I don't like having whips that are ongoing. I think that was my problem with the. Oh, I thought he said, Mama, I keep hearing things with your grease blanket. But I think, I think I'm more used to corner the corner now that it's not going to be so difficult. But I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah, I want to make another one of these super, super snappy. Limited edition. I was thinking I missed super snappy. Limited edition bags, but not black pocket. Because <laughs> I think the black pocket took away from it or something. I don't know. They're cute and they're handy little bags. I like them a lot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of stuff. Life updates. Life updates. Okay, there's a couple life updates. Or at least one. <laughs> this Saturday, which will be tomorrow to y'all, but a few days away from me, it's March the 3rd. We are all, me, Devin, Jesse, my mom, and stepfather. And I think my sister, her husband, her son, and her in-laws are all, are all going to um, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which is... It's about a three hour drive from us where we live to go to Ripley's Aquarium. I've been there multiple times and uh, Devin, me and Devin went once together. But we're wanting to take Jesse because he's really into fish and stuff right now. And um, it's they're doing a, uh, what's it called? Like a discount for Tennessee residents. Anyone with a Tennessee ID can get in for just $10 because it's normally $29.90 something for 
you know, each person, which is, is as expensive, blah, 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 I can't talk, is it, it's expensive, but not that bad, I mean, it goes to support the animals, and we're big animal lovers, so, but we're gonna go there, and, um, all the other Ripley attractions are only five dollars each for each Tennessee resident, Jesse's free still for everything, but, um, so we, we're probably gonna go back to the Mirror Maze, which is real cool, we went to that last year, I'll put a picture in if I can remember, um, we went May, in May last year. We went on a vacation, just me and Devin, and uh, we went to that. And then Ripley's, believe it or not, is closed because they're redoing the whole building. But they also have Ripley's, the Guinness Book of Records museum. <laughs> so we might also go to that since it's so cheap. Um, I really want to go back to the Titanic, but it's not included in the sale, so it's still full price. But I might go. I don't know. I really, I love the Titanic. It's so cool. But yeah, and uh, we'll eat. I wish I had a lot of money because I'm going to the zoo too. <laughs> the uh, Knoxville Zoo because it's right near it. It's like 40 minutes away. But yeah, so that's going to be fun. We're going to leave early Saturday morning. And, you know, it takes three hours almost to get there. Be there for a few hours and three hours back. It's going to be that evening before we get back. And there is an hour difference in time. They're an hour ahead of us. So we leave here. We're wanting to be in the car and driving by 7. So we'll get there by 11 their time. So, hopefully we'll get there before, because last year we went during the same thing, the same sale, they do it every March. Um, we got there, like, as soon as the aquarium opened, and we got in and all that, and it was cool. And when we were coming out, there was, like, a huge line of Tennessee residents trying to get in. So, I'm hoping we don't get into that big line. But either way, it's going to be fun. And we'll have to go slow anyways, because my mom's leg, she's got arthritis real bad, and we're bad in one of her knees. So, um... And there's lots of places to sit down so she can rest. Anyways, that's totally sidetracked. I think that's the only um, life update. My hair is frizzy. It's raining today and I went grocery shopping. So my hair is all over the place. I did get a package, but I, it's, I don't even know where it's at. Oh, okay, right here is part of it. Ugh. If y'all remember around Christmas time, a woman named Helen from Ireland... She's a viewer. Hi, if you're watching this episode. <laughs> she sent Jesse an adorable little um, Christmas themed shirt that we wore the day. I'll link it somewhere in the iCard. We, he wore it the day that we went to the Christmas parade here in town and we went and took pictures in the neighboring town and we went and saw those cool Christmas trees and all that. That was on display. But um, she also said, today I got it at the post office she sent a really cute St. Patrick's Day card which I do have it's in that stack of mail right there so I can't I don't want to go get it and grab it but um I'm lazy but she also sent him this it's so cute <laughs> I haven't put it on him yet because he's been real grumpy since he got home <laughs> he's a grumpy butt lately but I'm definitely gonna put him in and take pictures and he will definitely be wearing it March 17th, which I'm pretty sure is a Saturday, so we might get out and do something today if it's pretty. And, um, I just think that's so sweet. Thank you so much for it. I love it. I still have the Christmas one. I plan on keeping it forever. It's in my special box, because he will not be able to wear it this Christmas. He's a big boy. But this is so cute. I can't get over it. I can't wait to put him in. I gotta get him some little pants to go with it. Some little green pants or something. Or orange. I don't think they got little orange pants. But I could easily get them in the girls section. Because I mean, they're just stretchy pants. That's what my sister does. Her son is super skinny. Like, Jesse's chunky. But my sister's son is skinny. Like, slim. And he gets it from his dad because he's, he's like a toothpick. But, um, she goes and buys, like, you know those weird days at school where you dress up as different things? She goes and buys her son leggings in the girls' department. White ones. Or light color, like gray and stuff. And then she dyes it whatever color she needs. I think his Halloween costume last year? Yeah, that was last year because that's the only year he's been in school. Not a Halloween costume, but it was around Halloween. She dressed him as the tree from Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. And so she got some, I guess, white ones and dyed them brown. And it, just, it worked. And he's skinny enough that he can wear leggings and it not be weird. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to think if there's any more life stuff. I know a lot of people like to know about each other's lives. I like watching it, you know. Well, I, don't, I can't think of anything super important. <laughs> Devin's been working a lot of overtime. So, um, like, yeah, last night and tonight, he's going to be working 12-hour shifts. So, that sucks. But, it's life. Um, yeah. That's pretty much all I can think of. Mine and Jesse's birthdays are coming up. 
in a couple months. Jesse's is May 1st, so we got to prepare for it in April. And uh, mine's May 7th, which is the week later, you know. And then Mother's Day is right after that, so that's cool. But um, we're going to have Jesse a birthday party that is construction themed, like um, excavators and back holes and things like that, because he's really into that kind of stuff right now. And uh, I found a really cute picture on Pinterest that is like a caution sign, and it says, Caution, entering terrible twos. <laughs> That'd be cute. But um, I gotta find a pinata, because it's like a tradition on um, Devin's side of the family to use a pinata every birthday. So I gotta try to find a pinata that is construction themed. <laughs> I'm sure they're out there. I'll go to Party City or something, or the internet. <laughs> find anything on the internet. But yeah. For his birthday, we're getting membership to the Chattanooga Aquarium because it's closer. It's only like an hour and a half away. Probably not even that. So it's a lot closer for us to just go to on a random weekend. And I'm going to crochet him a giant octopus because, um, oh god, I can't remember. I think it's Angelina. No, sorry. I'm bad at names. She has a podcast though. I'll link it below. She sent it to me on Ravelry as a gift, which is awesome. It's a giant, made out of Burnett blanket yarn. And I already have almost all the yarn I need for it. I just gotta get two more uh, balls of the dark gray color, which I'm just gonna order from Joann's when there's a good coupon going on. I'm gonna make him a giant uh, octopus. Mama. It's right there. There it is. Come here. Oh, good. <gasps> There's Jesse. Is that Mama? Hey Jesse. <laughs> You're sleepy, huh? You wanna go take a nap? Come on, we'll go take a nap in a minute. I guess this is my cue to hurry up. <laughs> I've been talking for like ever. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off of here. I can't think of any more life updates. <laughs> you can drop your bottle. There it goes. I told you. There it goes. Here, look up here. Look up there and say, Leprechaun. Hello. Yeah. He <laughs> said, no. Like, what's this? Leprechaun. I don't know if you no, heard it. No. What is that? Leprechaun. Leprechaun. What is this? Me. Shamrock. <clears throat> I think that's what they're called. <laughs> Shamrock. There's shamrock when there's three, right? And then if there's four, it's just called a clover or something. I don't know. I don't know the history. I need to look into that. This is your shirt. You're going to wear it in a few weeks for sure. Because it's almost another holiday. Yeah, leprechaun. I'm going to make something green. For Christmas, I made green. Okay, we're about to go. I made green waffles. So I might have to do something like that. Oh, come here. <laughs> It's so heavy. Oh, whoopie. Whoopie? Yeah. Blippy? Blippy's on. Go watch Blippy. Blippy. Blippy, Blippy, Blippy. Blippy is driving me crazy. It used to be Baby Shark and now it's Blippy. Alright, for real, I gotta go. It's 30 minutes. And that's just this video. I think I took another video Another video that's more oh. minutes. Alright, I'm coming. I gotta go before he has a panic attack. I'll see you guys in the next video for sure next Friday, but possibly before if I get a, another idea for some kind of content. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. And hit the bell if you want notifications. And also check out my Instagram, my Ravelry, my Ravelry group, and my Facebook page below. The Facebook page is the most active right now. <laughs> but I'll see you guys. Bye. Leave it out there so you don't spill it. Good job. Good job, Bubba. You're getting so big. Good job. Yay. Nope. Leave the bowl there so you don't spill it. <clears throat> oh, don't get, no, don't get too much. There you go. Eat that one. Good job. It's a pig. What's pig say? Huh? Hey. Aw, you waving to pigs? Bubba? These are fresh water. It's a ray. It's a ray? Wow. Ew. Yeah. Uh, Jaguar's
sick of it. That's a basilisk. You like it? Nice head bobbing.